Hi everybody, um, I just wanted to show this motor I've been building for the past couple days. Um, chopped apart an old uh, cabinet door. It's just cheap particle board. Give me something flat to work with here. Anyway, um, uh, playing around with the floating uh, shaft or levitating shaft or whatever. But you can see here, it's touching the pen. Tried really hard to get it uh, to stop wobbling was my attempt, and so I have magnets opposing at the bottom and the top, trying to hold it down as well as up. Um, all of this uh, wood here is just holding my magnets uh, one way or another. And at the back side, it's hard to see, but I have a few more um, also opposing, trying to stop that wobble. Um, Brass shaft again tried to keep it real straight, but had a hard time um, Getting rid of the wobble entirely and I have two coils um, pushing Opposite each other last time I had one again mostly just for wobble not for speed and um, I tried real hard to uh, Keep the end open uh, But it just gave me too much trouble with the wobble like I said and you're gonna just fought it forever so um, I hooked it into the shaft on a tiny DC motor and you can see that the only thing holding the motor from really getting thrown all over the place is um, the stiffness of the copper wire and there's very little resistance for the bearings so I'm not losing a lot to the uh, the bearings inside this motor itself and it gives me a good uh, way to really speed this up without and hold the wobble in place without slowing her down so as you can see it's going pretty quick um, I had about um, about 5 volts and 700 milliamps going in here's a 555 timer which of course pulses the um, coils I have three magnets on each side and uh, this is what I was playing around with. So like I said I got about five volts going in. And since I did use a DC motor at this end, I went ahead and hooked it up and see if there was any power coming off. And I end up getting a oh the fastest I can get it going, I'll get it close to uh, one volt, maybe one point one or one point two at the very most. Uh, almost no milliamps, I'm sure, but. Uh, I hooked it up to turn this little uh, fan. Uh, it's not really that amazing, I know, but it was fun. You can see the load puts uh, quite a bit of load when you turn it on. You turn it off and you can see the motor wobbles and then speeds back up pretty dang quick. Without any gears or anything, it just can't spin this motor fast enough to make any real power. And... Uh, like I said, about 5 volts coming in, and this would only be 1 volt, almost no milliamps. So there's no real reason to try to hook it back into the input. Just give you a lot of trouble. But it was fun experiment. Show the kid and uh, play around with the magnets, I guess. Alright guys, thanks for watching.